Hello everyone! Today we're going to be making tinfoil sculptures. These sculptures are made out of only tinfoil or aluminum foil and they feature these really fun elongated stick people and they are inspired by the artist Alberto Giacometti. Alberto Giacometti was very well known for his statues of very elongated figures. So figures that have very long arms, very long legs, and long torsos. And so you'll just need a few supplies to create your own stick figure. You'll need any kind of aluminum foil, scissors, and a marker. That's it. Let's get started. All right, I've gathered my materials. I'm using some tin foil from my kitchen, a permanent marker, and some scissors. I'm going to turn my tin foil the tall way and I'm going to use my permanent marker to mark some spaces out. Please copy these lines. So you need two lines at the top and I'm going to mark out the different parts of the body. You don't need to do this. So the head will go in the middle. On either side will be arms. The middle of the body is called the torso. And we're going to add two lines on either side of that. And then one last line to separate the legs. So the left leg and the right leg. Again, you don't need to write the words, but you will need to make those five marks. After you've made the marks, you're going to use your scissors and gently cut them. Tin foil can tear really easily. So you'll have to work gently as you're cutting and sculpting your figure today. If something doesn't work out, you can always just start over and use a new piece of tin foil. After the five cuts are made, we're gonna begin by cinching the arms. So pinching and pulling and squeezing to squeeze those into a cylinder shape. Crumple up the head part at the top Crumple together the legs, making them cylinders. You want to have long ones. And then you can just squeeze the body. And then after you kind of have the, the shape, you're just compacting the tinfoil even further by squeezing more tightly. So I'm making sure that the head is a ball shape. I'm squeezing in the tummy area, squeezing and compressing those legs. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit for you so you can see. There we go. Now, all finished. After you feel like your figure is squeezed and compressed enough, you can then begin to think about posing. So what poses could you use your figure for to show different actions or different emotions? Try out moving your figure in a variety of different positions. And perhaps you want to make more than one figure. You could also make a figure for each member of your family. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Have a great time and I'll see you next time.